Hi, my name's Anessa. I'm an adult services librarian at the Ames Public Library. I'm Clelia. I'm also an adult services librarian at Ames Public Library. And today we're going to talk about our 12 to try challenge. Um, this month, we will be discussing books with LGBTQIA plus characters. Clelia, what's your first book about? So the first book I found to recommend it's called Lavender House by Lev A.C. Rosen. It came out in 2022 and it's a historic mystery set in 1952. A disgraced, depressed, former San Francisco PD officer who was fired after being found at a gay club during a raid is at the end of his rope when he gets a very intriguing case. It's about queer relationships and chosen family and it's set in a beautiful secluded house where there's been a murder. I would recommend this for fans of Raymond Chandler, the author was inspired by him, and Sarah Waters, and the movie Knives Out. Uh, Lev A.C. Rosen is a YA and adult fiction author and lives with his husband in New York City. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> My first book is The Fiancé Farce by Alexandria Bella Fleur. And it is a totally different book than the one Clelia was talking about. It's an opposites attract, fake fiance rom-com with lots of wit and charm and banter and just a little bit of steam and lots of drama. So it's about a shy bookstore manager named Tansy who creates a fake girlfriend in order to get out of family functions. <laughs> She bases her fake girlfriend on her favorite romance novel cover. And so when the romance cover model actually shows up, <laughs> drama ensues. Um, it's a really funny, really charming book. Um, and I would definitely recommend it for fans of Allie Hazelwood or Emily Henry. That does sound very fun. My next book that I found, it's called Paul Takes the Form of a Mortal Girl, it's a very weird title, by Andrea Lawler from 2017. This one is literary fiction with elements of magical realism, like very light elements. It's a weird, playful, wild ride. We meet the protagonist Paul in 1993 Iowa City. Uh, they are non-binary and can change their appearance and switch between, between genders at will. So that's the magical part. And then it just goes on from there. The plot isn't really the main point. It's more about self-discovery and finding queer community and just like self-actualization. It's written really beautifully. There are lots of fun like pop culture music references. I would recommend this for fans of Michelle T, Eileen Miles, and Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Andrea Lawler, they them, is a fiction author and writing professor at Mount Holyoke College. And it's set in Iowa City? Mm hmm That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It goes on from there to other places, but it starts in Iowa. That's fun. Um, my next book is also a fantasy, uh, Master of Gin by P. Jelly Clark. But this one is set in 1912 in Cairo, a few decades after the sorcerer Al Jahiz broke the boundary between the mundane and the supernatural and changed the world forever. Fatma al shawari is a hotshot young investigator for the Egyptian Ministry of Alchemy, Enchantments, and Supernatural Entities. Whoa. She is summoned to investigate the gruesome murder of a secret society of British emigres who is devoted to al Jahiz's legacy. There's a fascinating blend of history and magic, great characters, a really intriguing mystery, and plenty of daring do. I would recommend this to fans of V.E. Schwab or Samantha Shannon. That is very different and very cool. Yeah. And that's for September, folks. If you want to find more books with LGBTQIA characters for our 12 to try challenge, come check out the library displays or talk to one of our helpful librarians. Yes.